You can duplicate an action easily. This is a good idea if you want to play around with and or edit the action without messing up the original. Actions can be duplicated by either clicking an action on the Actions panel, then choosing Duplicate from the panel menu as illustrated on the left side of the slide, or you can also click and drag the action over the New Action button on the Actions panel and it will duplicate, which is illustrated on the right hand side of the slide. You can delete an entire action and you can also delete individual commands from within an action. To delete an action, click on the individual action you want to delete in the actions panel and then either press the delete button, the trash can in the bottom right hand corner, or click and drag the action to the trash can. You can also alt click or option click depending on if you're on a Mac or PC, um, the delete button to bypass the prompt. To delete individual commands from an action, follow the steps above, but instead of clicking on the action itself, click on the command within the action that you would like to delete. If you have access to an action that someone else has created, you can load these actions easily so that you can use them on your computer. And we already demoed this in the previous video, but I'd like to review that. Follow the steps to load an action set into the actions panel on your personal computer by one on the actions panel menu choose the load actions option via the option flyout menu remember you can only load .atn actions files um, you need to navigate to wherever you've saved that .atn file and then select it to open the new action set will automatically appear at the bottom of your actions panel if you were to expand the action set you could see any actions that are saved within it and so on the example here on the slideshow you can see that I've loaded the JC custom Photoshop actions and that there's only one action inside it called sharpen for inkjet output.